I think what is important is that the people should keep the distance that we are advised to keep. They should wear their mask, they should use the sanitizers, and they, and they, they should make sure that they don't, they give each other's time, you know, for, for the group to reduce a bit before additional people come uh, to join the queue so that we make sure that we exercise our right to vote. But I believe we are a small country, even bigger nations, India, United States of America, they were all able to, to vote. We can do that and if we observe the COVID protocol, we will be able to, to achieve what we want to achieve with our election and still protect ourselves from COVID. Mm -hmm. And then just lastly, your message to all the eligible voters in this I call upon them to come out and vote, uh, exercise their right to vote. As indicated, your right to vote is a right that came at a huge sacrifice. It is your voice in regard to how this country is governed. It enables you to select who is to represent you and to hold them accountable. Because if you sit at home, you do not participate in the selection of those that are going to exercise your right, which is given to you under the law as the absolute sovereign to govern this country, then it means you disenfranchise yourself. So they are encouraged to come out and vote, to remain peaceful and orderly, and to observe the COVID protocol.